I'm rather proud of myself. Um, I managed to get my necky to do what I consider to be rather a perfect invisible zip. So, not bad at all. So this is ultimately, it's just hanging on one of my blow-up dolls because I don't have a proper uh, dress form yet. So this is the biggest one I have, which you can see uh, is a little small for the average person. But it's very good. So I've got to finish the hemming. I haven't sewn in the lining yet, but I've pressed the um, silk so it just needs to be sewn in. And that's pretty good. So that is only the underdress, but I thought I could show you here. This is the necky um, foot that I used. And if you look very carefully, let's put it against some black. See if that helps a bit, maybe against the curtains. You can see, ah oh yeah, that's better. You can see some troughs both sides. And then, uh, so that works very well for doing the invisible zipper on. It gives a perfect result every time. So this is the underdress. And what I'm going to do is put the overdress on. So I'll be right back. So here is the lace overdress with the silk underneath. This also has on the left side an invisible zipper, which is in there very fine. The top here will have hook and eye, but I haven't fitted that yet. But that's just the simple overlayer. It, we've got quite a bit of detail to add to this yet. So I have, I've been making these bells, oops, this helps if it's in view. So I've been making these bells and these bells will be hanging on the front of the dress. So here they're made in silk and they're lined as well so I've got a whole bunch of them to finish and then I've got detail to put on the shoulders as well. So I've got quite a bit of work to do and I thought at some point I'm going to show you how these bells are made. So, what I did last night, because I was starting to get marks on the silk, is I decided to clean all in here. Because what I found is that whomever had uh, oiled this machine before had used um, some very, probably three in one or something like that, and it had turned to essentially varnish. So, I used, carefully, this goof-off stuff, and it removed the essentially solid varnish that was on here. It's absolutely gross. You can see from this cloth how grimy and how much goop was on there. I haven't completely cleaned in there yet, but you can see that was not perfectly done. So, I'm getting there, and I got it off. I'm very pleased with this goof off stuff. It worked really well. And now I'm going to set up the camera so you can see a bit of making these bells. Right, so here's how the bells are made. We start with a piece of silk. We start with a piece of lining. What we do is we put them together. So let's adjust this a bit. And then we them together. You could pin them, but actually in this case it's not as precise as a lot of stuff, so you can actually get away with just making sure they're lined up together. So I've got the straight stitch foot on the necky, so in left position. And just have to make sure that's all staying. So, Clip it, clip the threads, and then what we have to do is fold it lengthways. Now the one thing I found out this high shank necky is you have to use a really long length of thread or when the needle 
feed goes up, it pulls it out of the needle. So you have to watch that carefully. So, once you fold them lengthwise like that, you can then sew lengthwise. So you'll notice that the light is still not working on the necky. I've taken my electric meter to, it to figure out what's going on. So I'm not sure if the transformer's burnt out in the 12 volt section, though it's still sewing. Or there's another wire because it uses the machine body to transfer the ground signal. So I've checked and I can't see obviously where there's a problem with the machine. You snip off the lining so that it becomes asymmetric like that. Then, using one lovely crochet hook, what you have to do is pull. Oops, it's a little bit fiddly, but eventually you get the hang of it. Pull the silk through itself. So you always check to make sure your stitching's good before you start this, or you end up pulling it through and then realizing you have to pull it back through itself to uh, get the results. So sometimes it helps just feeding it. Yeah, once you got it, then you can reverse it. Okay. Perfect. You have a tube. So once you pull it back through, you end up with this rough shape, which you then have to turn inside out. Like that, and you make the bell. And now comes the last stage. So starting on the seam here, making sure your bobbin thread is perfect. So check your stitches first before you do any of this because the bobbin thread will be on the outside. And starting at the seam, what you want to do is make sure your bell's perfect and doing a really close edge stitch just to hold it shape in place. Okay. What you need to do is make sure your lining doesn't pull forward because sometimes it does slip a bit. better to make sure the lining is definitely perfectly inside before I demonstrated this to you, but normally I do that. In this case, I'm just a bit sloppy. So it makes it a bit more fiddly when you're actually sewing it. At the end of the day. Okay, almost all the way around. Reverse stitch. Done. So now clip off your threads. Okay, and one bell. Now, the when you actually go to attach this to the dress, what you do is you sew it upside down that way, fold the bell over on itself, and then do a little tacking stitch through the lining on the inside of the bell to hold it to the dress and then that way the lining can't actually pull back out of the bell. And now I have about 43 more of these to finish. Anyway, I shall show you the progress as I get through the day. I have two more days to finish this dress um, and you get to watch it being pieced together. So I shall catch up with you soon. Yeah, let's see. You hook it in and you... Don't take a picture of me bending down like this. It's great. You hook it in and then what? And then you push it in. Hook it, push.
Splendid. Very nice. Spin round. Very good. I think it's nice. Depends if you want. The actually, pink bra is special. So. Actually, the pearls are perfect. They are actually. To the dress. <laughs> That's why I put them on. Oh no no, it's only the shoulder thing, so if you oh, like okay. that's perfect. I like it without the shoulder things. Fine. That's why I didn't put them on. Yeah. I, I actually thought you were gonna have like a swan. No no, we'll swing your hips a bit. Show show move your bells. Move my bells. Yeah, that's it. That's cute.